Hello, my friends. Welcome to Let's Get Organized Hop. Here's a little overview of my craft room. In case you haven't seen it before, this is a busy day. My husband's mowing the lawn, and I just wanted to show you my table, like in midst um, cut file, trying to make a layout. Everything's not super neat all the time, you guys, right? So, there you go. Just a little overview in case you haven't been here before. I have lots of organization videos and scrapbook layouts on my channel. Okay, so I'm going to talk about organizing scrapbook collections and or kits. Either one is relevant and, and then stick around at the end because I'm going to announce the winner of my sequin storage case that I was indicating I was giving away from the last video, okay? And there's a Miss Biddy and let's get to it. Hi everyone, this is Joanne. How are you? I just got my new hip kit collection and I am going to organize it and put it away so I thought I'd make you a video so here's all my pattern paper and my cardstock the ink stamps ephemera all the stuff that comes with it and everything and this is how thick it would be to put it away so I take everything out of the packaging and then this is how thick all the papers would be these are 13 by 13 record sleeves okay these are 6 by 12 little sleeves they're very thick and very sturdy um, they hold up very well if you pull them too hard they will rip but I've never had one rip on me before and then I use these pockets for my envelopes um for my ephemera not envelopes small and large this is five by seven and i think this is like seven by nine i will link both of these below i also get these from amazon and i get these from amazon okay and i've got several of them because i keep them on the opposite side of my craft room and i just put back what i don't use and then this month's kit did have metal dies so i have the metal die um, magnetic sheets for that and then I take my tray and I put everything in here and I do take everything out of the packaging that it comes in because I don't like the stick that is on the back of these because it I think all the ephemera and everything sticks to it and it drives me crazy so I put everything in here so I can organize it and work with it very quickly and easily so the first thing I do is my paper so I'll have this for that and what I do is a little bit of OCD so all my cardstock goes in the back and I get two pieces of this and again this doesn't have to be a kit it can be any collection simple stories pink fresh whatever you have same concept I have to have them all going the same way with the branding strips and everything just so they're super organized because that's the way I am okay so cardstock let's do this together aren't these colors just beautiful and then I keep this because it's just another piece of cardstock for me okay so I'm gonna straighten this out and put this to the side and then the same thing with this, I'm gonna make sure, I put my cardstock on the bottom, okay? I'm gonna make sure that these are all facing in the same direction. So when I go through really quick, I know that if I need two pieces, like if I'm doing a double page, that they're right next to each other. But the thing I do is I take my favorite pieces from the collection and I put those on top. Just because I know I'm going to reach for those first. This happens to be one of my favorites. I'm gonna put it to the side for a second. Not that I don't love all of the papers. I'm just saying I'm going to take my favorites. This is a favorite. And I'm going to put them to the side so I can reach for them first. Okay, this is definitely one of my favorites. 
Okay, so we'll put these over here. I love this yellow. This is definitely one of my favorites. This is one of my favorites as well. And let's see here. This is gorgeous. This is going to be a background paper cut apart. Super fun. This is one of my favorites. I usually fussy cut this. And this is definitely one of my favorites because I'm obsessed with this blue color. So I put these right on top of my cardstock. Okay, and then I will take the piece of paper that's going to remind me the most of what's in this. So when I just peek at it quick, I'll see it. All right, I'm gonna straighten these out. I'm trying not to make a lot of noise. I gotta find the opening of this. Here we go. And the reason I use these sleeves is I don't like my kits and or collections mixing in with other things. So I keep them all in this bag. And these bags hold a lot. It's gonna hold even more. So I'm going to take this out of the packaging and it would probably be more helpful if I did this ahead of time, but I just wanted you to see me take it out. Okay, I am gonna keep this packaging. Um, the backing, not the plastic. I recycle those immediately because I just don't like them. It doesn't matter what manufacturer it is. I can't stand this plastic stuff. It drives me kind of crazy. But that's just me. A lot of people keep them and they slid it up the side and so they don't have to worry about the um, glue on the packaging. And then I'm thinking I need ATG, and I should probably grab my little trimmer, just in case something doesn't fit. Now, normally I would not put metal dies together, but these are both very thin, and I think that they will both fit on here, and it'll be just fine. So I'm going to put it on there, and then I keep these. I don't necessarily need this because I know what it looks like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to adhere these to the back because I want to know who it's from and what collection it goes with. So I'm just gonna tape this here. And then this probably won't fit. And I think I'll cut this off because it already says Hip, cut, hip Kit Club here so I can cut that because I wanna know the name of it. All right. So we'll just trim this a little bit. It's going to be too long. So where do I want to cut this? Let's get a pen and just make sure that these are even. Okay, so I'll cut that much off. Okay, and then I will start by cutting this off and see if it fits. I gotta cut just a little bit more in order for it to fit on the back of this. It should be good now. Yep. Okay. Okay. So we have that now. And if I do find some sleeves that I like better. I will let you know in a future video and then close it up so then I can see them. They're on the metal, the metal dive magnet magnets and I can see where they came from. Okay, there's one thing down. What I will do is take one of these and I keep the packaging. I'm going to make sure it's upright and then I'll slide it into here. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one because I had one, my cat loves to chew on these, so I had one with teeth marks in it that I'm just not going to use because I don't want teeth marks. Okay, so then you can see through it, you can see where it's from, what collection it is, and you can still see everything and it protects it. Okay, and then I'll do this one. Take this, recycle my packaging. And these are awesome. It fits two of everything very nicely. It's not tight. Push that down so I can see the top. So I'll do front and back on those. And if I had another item that was front and back, 
I would put that in there, but this one only has three, and that's okay. As I use the kits, I will consolidate things down. So I am guessing that I will use these border fabric border strips relatively quickly. So then I would just take this out of my stash, put this back into my drawer so I can use it for future kits, and then I would just recycle this. You can also use the packaging if you wanted to as to mat your photos and everything when you're done with that. So there's this one. These are super simple because all you have to do is make sure that this fits in here, and it's going to be a little bit too big long I should say so oh it looks like it's right at that um, mark right here so let's cut that down and make sure this fits in there now yep perfect we'll put this in here I just want to make sure clear stamps yep this is the right one put that in there Perfect, and you can see it on the back too. Okay, same exact thing with this. I practiced with the inks to make to see if, if I like the colors. It looks like that's gonna fit in there perfectly. I don't have to cut this one down at all, which the majority of the time that really does happen that I very rarely have to cut things. Okay, I'm gonna put this in there like that. These are what I qualify as larger pieces of anything. These are epoxies and these are chipboard layered stickers and then I, they also came with this which I think is super pretty and I'm almost positive I'm going to fussy cut that flower out and use it on a layout so I'm going to just keep this with my pocket life cards and the 6 by 8 papers and I don't want them to get bent or messed up. So I put them in one of the big ones, just like this. And then I don't need this packaging. So then I'll put this in it because they're kind of the same sizes. So I'll put that in there. And then this one, I'm trying to think nine times out of 10, I will take these types of things out because I'm super careful. But sometimes with like the little teeny alphas or things like enamel dots that fall off these easy, you could keep them in this but it's already protected and I know that's how I am so I am really careful when I put slide this in and out I'm just going to put that in there so now I can get rid of this okay so all of that see how skinny now yep super fun okay now let's do Ephemera. All right, so I don't need any more of these because we already did those. Put those over there. Um, I think I need two more of these. So I'll put that with this. And then there are one, two, three. Okay. So I only need two because I like my florals to be separate. Because when I'm looking for a flower, I don't want to go through all the journaling bits and move those out of the way. And everything now with these this um, packaging is bigger than a five by seven so I'll have to cut this down that's okay I can do that so I keep missing my trash bag all right put all these over to the side and then um, let's see I will just I don't have my big trimmer right next to me or else I would just use that Okay, again, I want this logo that I know that's from the Hip Kit Club, and I'm going to trim it down a little bit less than what it needs to be so it slides in and out easily. And then I would need to cut it here. Okay, simple. And it's okay that I'm cutting this so I can't see the back because I can see these. So it's going to be fine. All right. I'll do that and then I'll slide this in there and then I'll put these in there and I do like them facing up and I like them to be in front of this because if they slide back here sometimes you can't really see them 
and know that they're there. So I put them facing up so I can see them when I pull this envelope out. I'm going to slide this into my hand because they're such super tiny, tiny pieces. Okay. Some of them get turned over. It's okay. Okay. So now we have this in there. All right. And then this one, there's two, but they're pretty similar. So I'm going to combine these into one because I don't need three packages of this. Three packages of this in my collection. I only need one. That envelope holds a ton of ephemera. I just like to spread it out a little bit because I don't want to get too bulky height wise and then take up extra room in my drawer. So what I'll do here is take all these out. And this is why I don't like that because yeah, it sticks to it. And again, I know some people cut down the side. But, all right, so I'm immediately going to get rid of this packaging. I don't need it. I'm going to take this one. And then do the same thing and cut it down. Cat fur. A little bit less than the measurements. So we have room to move this paper in and out. that and one more okay I think that we won't have to cut anything else down today okay I'll keep everything together at the beginning so I'm going to take all these journaling bits and everything and slide them in the front towards the end is when I have difficulty picking them up. So I'm going to slide it into my hand. I'll come in and just dump them in there. And I am going to combine these with these. That way I only have one package for all of this. I'm going to slide it into my hand just because Otherwise, you'd be sitting here for five minutes watching me pick up all these little teeny things. Okay, and then I'm going to close it and then shake it a little bit to get everything to flatten out. And one piece just flew right out onto the ground. So I'm going to pick that up quick. I must not have put it in the envelope. It must have been on top and I didn't realize it. Okay, hold on to it. Flatten it out just a little bit. Okay. Then we have super bulky embellishments. So these are awesome chipboard pieces. And as you use things, the bulk will slim down, obviously, because they're not there anymore. Okay, so I'll take one of the bigger ones. Turn it around. And I'll slide it right in there, close it up. I'll definitely shake this and try to get it to spread it out and be a little bit more flat. Or if that doesn't work, sorry, that pop was loud. You can just go in there with your hand and shake things around and try to make it a little bit flatter. I'm going to turn these so I can see them. And then also you can use the back. If it had a printed picture, you could see what you had on there. And... Um, cross them out as you use them so you're not looking for something that you've already used. Okay, I'm going to put this in just one because it's super bulky with all that chipboard because you get like a ton of chipboard in that embellishment pack. These are wood veneer pieces. So I'm going to take them out of there and these are also super bulky. And again, as this slims down and as the chipboard slims down, I would probably combine these two together and only have one envelope in my container. Okay, so I'm going to turn this. And sometimes you get lucky and you can just leave things right on the paper and then slide them. Like this. 
Okay, so this is my drawer and my scrap box that I have, but I want you to, to think about what drawer you have in your craft room. You don't have to have a drawer. You can use an iris bin or an art bin. Same thing as my drawers, okay? So there's going to be a little glare on this plastic. Sorry about that. I'm going to take the super bulky stuff away. Now, right now, I need to keep all of these together because I have to do my Hip Kit Club design teamwork. So I want to keep the whole collection in one. Once this month is over and I'm done with my projects, I still will have some left over and I want to use it again. But I will take my stamps and my dies out and I will put them in my cart because I have all my Hip Kit Club stamps and dies in one section. So I know where they all are together. So these are going to stay in here for now, but they will be removed at the end of the month. Okay. What is that? Oh, it's a piece of ephemera that fell out. I don't know why they're so tiny. They're sliding out the top. Maybe I'm not sure. I have each one of my drawers. I'll put a picture up with the Hip, Hip Kit Club logo on it. So I know what's in that drawer. And then each of my drawers are organized by month. So any kits that came in January, February, March, April, May, all the way through December are stored in that month's drawer. So I make sure each one of the collections has its own sleeve because there could be two to three kits in there that are left over from what I haven't yet used. So I don't want to mix this kit with another April kit from a previous year. Okay, so I'm going to move this over to the side for a second. Okay. And then at the end of the month, I will also take this ink out and I will put this with all my other inks. But for now, I have to keep it together because I might need to use it. So I'm going to take these things because they're the flattest. Put the one over here that only has one thing in it and then I'll put this face out because I love those and then I'm going to take this big one which is relatively flat and put it over here okay and then these are super chunky so then I'm going to put one of these in next also super chunky but again once you start using everything this slowly goes down okay oh I forgot to tell you I also keep an extra one of these in here because as I start using my kits, this is where I keep my pieces of scrap paper so they're not all over the place and getting lost and everything. So I'll put an extra one of these just underneath here. Let me grab um, another kit so I can show you. So extra one in here for when I start cutting my papers. This is a Simple Stories, um, Simple Vintage Indigo Garden collection that I have. And when I cut up the journaling sheets and I have scraps, I put them all in here so they're contained in one spot. And I'll just slide it right in the envelope. So I will go and try to use my scraps before I cut into another 12 by 12 piece of paper. Okay. And then this is where it gets a little tricky because this has a lot of stuff. And again, these would not typically go in here. So I will just keep doing this and then I'll put these on top and try to keep it as flat as possible. And I'm not going to slide this in there, I don't think, because, well, maybe I can get it in there, but it's going to make it so bulky, I would probably never do that. So now, my entire kit, that huge pile, is this big. And it's a little bulky on the top right now, because I have so much, it's brand new, I have not used a single piece of it yet. But as I get scrapbooking, it goes lower, 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 so it's really, really good. And then, at the end of the month... All this is going to come out. Yeah, isn't there another one? Yep, this one. Okay, my Samson dies. Those will come out, and then I'll have even more room. Okay. So there you go, guys. That's how I organize. And then I go ahead and I put it in my drawer. And if there is a kit from the previous years that month, it'll just go, the older one will go on the bottom and the newer one goes on top. Okay. So again, like I said, I put that picture up so you could see what I was talking about. 
But if you don't have a drawer, this is the same thing. You can get probably two or three collections or kits in an iris bin um, container. And uh, the art bins I like better because they have handles and they stay locked shut better. You can get art bins at Joann's or Michael's. So yeah, I will put, that's how I will do that. And I hope that this inspired you to organize and keep your kits together. And every time I have to tell you, I do have a little bit of OCD. So every single time I use a kit, I pull it all out. I figure out what I want to use. And I think I'm going to do that in a separate video because it is very overwhelming to figure out where to start when you have a brand new kit or collection. And there's so much to use okay just so 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 much to use so I'm gonna do a separate video about how to get started with that okay so anyways the art bins those are super awesome too and they're stackable so very neat to organize those and I also got these super cool um, it's a piece of furniture it's like a cart where you can put your iris bins and your art bins right inside of it I'm gonna put a picture up right now so you can see it and that is a super awesome way to store your collections as well. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got a few ideas. And last but not least, I'm going to announce the winner of the sequin storage organizer. I got this at, I'm going to have to say Hobby Lobby. Um, it's super cool, nice case, sturdy clip, and it has three four, five, six rows of jars. The top one has a lid and then the rest of them adhere or twist on to each other like that. And you put your sequins or anything you want in here. It doesn't have to be sequins. It can be diamond knots. It can be charms. It can be jewelry making things. And the winner is, drum roll, please, Teresa Holbrook. Thank you so much for commenting and watching my video. I am going to put my email in the description box below. And I would like you to message me and let me know that you saw this and you know that you are the winner. And then we will speak and I will get your address and I will mail this to you. Okay? So, thank you so much everybody for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel and if you haven't done so already please press like and subscribe thank you see you again soon in the next video bye